Manuel sir to their masterpieces. How are you doing today? Uh, thank you. I'm well. Can we uh, start by knowing your career journey? All right. So I have done my uh, masters in uh, uh, biotechnology mm -hmm. from uh, Sri Krishna Devaraya University, which is in Andhra Pradesh. Mm -hmm. Then um, I have done my PhD from University of Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. Hyderabad. Then after that, I have uh, uh, taken a postdoctoral position at uh, University of Texas at Tyler, okay. which is in Northeast Texas. And uh, there I spent uh, almost three years there. Mm -hmm. And after that, um, I have joined um, a company called uh, Orozymes, mm -hmm. which is uh, owned by Arabindo Pharma in Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. And after that, I have moved on to another company uh, which is in uh, which is a startup mm -hmm. which is located at uh, University of Hyderabad. We have a bio incubation center here. Right. Uh, so we have a very small team and uh, we are trying to do um, uh, something like uh, enzymes for um, uh, therapeutics for industrial applications. So mm -hmm. we are basically trying to develop some technology for industry, whether right. it be or uh, something else. When and how did you decide to become a career mentor? Uh, we um, we are a group of um, a PhD uh, students. We struggled a lot um, while we are coming from small uh, towns. So right. we struggled a lot. And uh, when we have completed our um, PhD and when we are in mostly postdoc, we uh, used to actually help our juniors. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we have made a lot of mistakes and we used to tell, OK, this is not the right way to do. And this is uh, how you get information, um, how to proceed, uh, where jobs are there. And we are often faced like um, when we come out of university. Mm -hmm. So there is a question mark what I should do. Right. So the first time I asked when I completed my BSc, um, I don't know where, where to go. Even if we know something, there is no platform to actually help others. So right. I thought AI is a very good platform where uh, we can use our expertise. And it's basically like uh, helping people and say this is the way to go if you are interested in uh, a particular uh, science. Right. Usually life science is my expertise. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I thought this is um, how I, I will be able to help people. After being a career mentor, um, yes. in yes. what direction would you like your mentoring career to grow into? See, I want to focus mostly on life science. Okay. And uh, people, um, um, there are a lot of avenues in life science, which we mm -hmm. didn't know when we are doing um, uh, my uh, say PhD mm -hmm. and um, uh, sometimes um, we wanted to uh, take certain uh, type of um, uh, learn certain type of technology. Mm -hmm. We thought this will be available and uh, this kind of uh, jobs will be available in mm -hmm. future, but that mm -hmm. is not like that. So you mm -hmm. just learn the technology and uh, uh, you'll not be able to use it because there is no application in industry where the jobs are. Mm -hmm. So so. Uh, we, uh, people can uh, actually uh, have to do certain kind of training, which is mm -hmm. uh, which makes them ready for the industry. It's not right. like uh, you learn each and everything, and uh, at the end of uh, your PhD, you say, "Okay, you are not fit for the industry." So that yeah. kind of should not be there. So yes. in industry, there are a lot of uh, regulatory uh, things required. You need to have certain uh, other skill sets which are required in industry. So uh, that kind of education is required. So um, I can uh, try to help people who are actually like in a BSc uh, life sciences or MSc life sciences. We can actually guide them to um, take up a proper job in industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, if people are not uh, interested in industry, there are other uh, avenues where people do content writing, people do uh, if their writing skills are very good, if they want to do some freelance kind of thing, they can actually do 
uh, reviewing of papers or th those kind of things. So those right. people need a different uh, set of um, uh, skills. Yes, so those, yes. That kind of uh, um, um, guidance mm -hmm. is required. I want to help people in uh, getting that kind of uh, direction. Do you have anything to say to our uh, parents and students out there? So uh, parents, I'll certainly uh, like to say because um, usually in India, uh, parents, they don't end. Uh, they are not like uh, um, uh, not always like bossy, but they will try to say you will become a doctor one day. So it, it's like um, the student will think that, OK, I have to become a doctor, even though whether he likes or didn't like he has that will be there in his mind that OK, I have to. Uh, he questions himself, uh, will I become a doctor or so many times parents um, force unknowingly this the ch child yeah. to uh, take something. So it is better to um, um, let the child test different fields, mm -hmm. find out which one is the right one. Mm -hmm. Then uh, let him um, choose which path. Then we need to actually help them take the right decisions by putting more options uh, before the student and say, if you take this uh, path, this your future might look like this. Yeah. So let him take, and uh, if that uh, options are given, he will mm -hmm. own that path and he will actually you don't have to force him to work hard because mm -hmm. he has chosen. He will put on the effort for uh, getting to that goal. Mm -hmm. So that is right. what I want to tell to the parents. Thank you, Manuel, sir, for connecting with me today. And I hope that uh, you help a lot of students and our collaboration goes a long way.